This is Israeli police video from last night in Jerusalem. Fireworks going off during a police raid at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Police say they were forced to enter a group of what's described as agitators, barricaded themselves inside the mosque. The incident has sparked fresh protests by Palestinians and retaliation by Israel. These tensions are rising as Passover tonight falls during the month of Ramadan. And we're keeping a close watch on the situation this morning. Iris Mackler joins us live from Jerusalem. Iris, tell us, tell us what's happening today in the aftermath of that raid. Well, once again, we're seeing that violence at the Al-Aqsa Mosque spills out and we see an escalation across the West Bank and in Gaza. We've seen two drive-by shootings in the West Bank um, at Israeli military positions. We've seen rocket fire from Gaza into Israel. Two, 16 rockets were fired. Eight were intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome anti-missile system. Seven fell in open areas. One fell in, at an Israeli factory. After that, we've seen Israeli airstrikes in the Gaza Strip. And all of this is very familiar to anyone who was watching what happens here or what happened here in 2021 when it led to a full war in Gaza. So because of that, we've seen the intervention of the United Nations and uh, Egypt, traditional mediators today. We've seen condemnations from Arab nations, including Jordan and Qatar, saying that this is actually um, an, es an unnecessary escalation and an insult to more than a billion Muslims worldwide. But I do have to say that right now at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, there is a quiet, tense calm. And Iris, tell us what's happening uh, right now, why this is all happening right now. Why now is an excellent question, because this Ramadan has actually been relatively peaceful. We've seen hundreds of thousands of Muslim worshippers at the Al-Aqsa Mosque coming peacefully and leaving peacefully. But today is the start of Passover, and I think it's pretty plain that these two things are linked. It's traditionally a source of friction because um, the Muslims pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. That's also known as the Temple Mount to Jews. And there's a religious obligation on Jews to visit Jerusalem during Passover. In biblical times, it was actually to go up to the temple. So they do uh, go and visit the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. They're not allowed to pray there, but it's such a source of friction uh, that, I, that the police say that one of the reasons that they went in to the Al-Aqsa Mosque to remove people who were armed with bars and rocks and fireworks, as we saw, is, I think, in anticipation of the visit of the, of the Jewish visitors. So it's a very fraught time, and I think we have to wait to see what the next few days bring. Iris, thank you so much for your reporting.